my project, well not project, but the question that I asked was how do friendships work, why do they stop working, what brings people together, what drives them apart. And uh, basically the conclusion that I came to was that opposites attract. We're all human beings, but we're all different. Together we are complete as human society, but individually we're only shards of the stained glass window that is the magnificence of humanity. Um, so some of us are yin, some of us are yang. I'm sure there are more than two different kinds of people, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, so like, in one of the books I read, Sula, by Toni Morrison, that's the story of two black women in the 20s. And uh, they grow up playing together, but even though they're best friends, they have really different households. Sula is raised in sort of this do whatever you want, raise yourself, really libertarian kind of household, whereas Nell is raised in a pretty prim, proper, conservative environment. And uh, I think the thing that pulls them together is that Sula brings out Nell's wildness and sort of helps her be more confident in herself and sort of like, yeah, I have value, I'm a person too, I'm not just a housewife. Whereas uh, Nell sort of calms Sula down. And I think that's sort of what it is, I mean, one's yin, one's yang, they come together, they're together for a while and both of them are better for it. And uh, in The Sun Also Rises, which is the book by Ernest Hemingway that I read to go along with it, that's the story of a bunch of uh, World War I veterans living in Paris in the 20s. So instead of black women in the 20s in America, you have white men in Paris in the 20s. And uh, the two main characters in that story are Robert Cohn, who's a Jewish non-veteran, and Jake Barnes, who's an American veteran. And uh, they have a lot of conflict because First of all, Jake was in the war and was really scarred by it personally, like Zach was talking about, and Robert Cohn was not. So, for a lot of reasons, like, uh, Jake was wounded in his manly parts, which means that he cannot consummate a relationship with a woman, whereas Robert Cohn can. So that, first of all, that sort of exacerbates Jake Barnes' uh, insecurity about himself, whereas Robert Cohn is completely the opposite of Jake. I mean, he's, he can be masculine, he's a boxer, uh, he's certainly not a Gentile, and he didn't serve in the war, so he's all, you know, yeah, people are good. And Jake is like, no, I've seen some bad stuff. So at first they come together because they don't really want to be alone, and because they, again, complement each other like yin and yang. But what tears them apart is that Jake cannot cope with the war, and Cone cannot deal with the fact that moral values from before the war just don't hold true anymore. So there's that conflict that sort of grinds them against each other, and they're very, very cruel to each other as the book goes on. Uh, Jake is just cruel with words. Cohen actually knocks Jake out, and along with a bunch of other guys. It's pretty intense. But So basically, even though what brought them together was their differences, their differences are also what drive them apart, because you can't have... You guys have seen The Matrix, right? Okay, when Neo and goes into Mr. Smith and Mr. Smith blows up, <laughs> one's yin, one's yang, they're opposites and sort of go together, but they can't coexist forever. One of them has to destroy the other or they have to go their separate ways. Which also happens in Sula, when uh, Sula sort of disappears and leaves Nell like, alone. And uh, Nell gets married, starts a family, has some kids. And Sula comes back about 10 years later and has sex with Nell's husband. And then Nell's husband leaves her. So Sula sort of, the very wildness that Nell sort of took from Sula and thrived on and allowed her to be more confident is actually what destroyed her family and ruined her life. So even though yin and yang, we complement each other, we also destroy one another. And uh, short and sweet, that's basically what my uh, whole thing was. That was horrible, guys. Yeah, we can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs>